Hello there, my name is Larry Rosen from Ajax Public Library. Welcome to this week's Virtual Idea Lab. What is Virtual Idea Lab? Well, since you're not able to come to the library right now, we thought we'd bring the library right into your own home. Uh, many of the activities that we do in Virtual Idea Lab can be done right in the comfort of your own home. Every Wednesday, I offer you a new activity. And uh, so thanks again for joining me here today. Let's get started. This week's activity, shipwrecks. Have you ever wondered what causes those type of accidents? Could it be because of stormy weather? Maybe the navigation equipment just didn't work? Maybe the boats themselves were built unsafe? Maybe there were um, too many people on the boat? Or it could have been just one big wave just caused the shipwreck? Okay, with all those questions, what if there was a way to design boats that were safer to travel on. Why don't we experiment by building an aluminum foil boat and we'll use uh, pennies or marbles to represent the passengers. Okay, so the challenge is we're creating an aluminum foil boat that can safely carry as many passengers, marbles or pennies, as possible. And you only be using uh, one aluminum foil sheet. How can we test if the boat is safe? What do you think? We've got an aluminum boat with pennies in it. Well, we could create some waves. And I'll show you how to do that in a few moments. And uh, so here's some questions that you, you can ask yourself while you're building these boats. How do you plan to fold the boat? What will the final shape be? Will it be a square, rectangle, circle? You could have a circle boat. Octagon, what is an octagon? It's a shape that has eight sides. Can a boat have eight sides? Why not? Okay, uh, to do this experiment, you're gonna need foil, a large plastic bowl, um, a towel, pennies or marbles to represent the passengers, and um, these, uh, pen I have marbles, and then a bigger marble to represent a wave because we're going to drop it right in and make waves and see if the boat stays up or sinks. Uh, you ready to give this a try? So first thing you have to do, get your aluminum foil, cut it about uh, this shape. You can turn it into any shape you want and um, just begin folding it in the shape of the boat, decide um, the shape that you want. Um, and it's a trial and error. See what works and what doesn't. And um, so things that you got to think about are, how strong is this going to be when I start putting people in the boat? Okay, because if you have, if you have a boat like this, these sides may not be strong enough. Okay, this is a, a, a rectangle type of boat. We've also got a, a square boat and we also have a circle, a circle boat. We don't know what works, that's why we have to test it, okay? And not only that, um, maybe certain parts of the boat are stronger than others. Maybe you'll need to reinforce them, okay? So what we would do is we would get our um, bowl of water. And I've got that right here. You can actually have two bowls. You could have one bowl for the water that's still. And then you can have a second bowl that would be for the waves. And what I mean by waves is you would take a bigger 
fall a rock and you would put it in and see how the boat reacts while it's um, in the middle of waves. Okay, so you take one of the boats that you created. For example, the, this is a rectangle one. I'm sure that you will come up with much better designs. Um, that's where the fun comes in, you experiment and you see what works and what doesn't. Okay, and you start to put in, you've got uh, little marble people. If you want to use, if you have Lego and you want to use Lego people, you can do that as well. You put them in and you keep putting them in and you see how many you can put in before it sinks. And questions that you can ask while you're doing this are, do the boats tend to sink quickly from a large wave or, or slowly over time? What parts of the boat seem to be more stronger than others? This seems to be uh, taking quite a few marbles so far. I, oh, there we go. Okay. I think one more marble ought to do it here. We're starting to get water. Okay, there she goes. There it goes. Down she goes. Okay, so um, other questions that you can ask. Um, what happens when you add more pennies? How did it go down? Is there certain parts of the boat that need more reinforcement than others? Uh, and um, you can also try experiments with this. Just get a bigger rock or something. And when you put that in, it's gonna create waves on the boat. And you'll see how the boat reacts to the bigger waves. What do you think? Is this a challenge you'd like to try? I think you'll do great. Okay, please see the link below for resources that you'll need to do this activity. When complete, please share your photos and videos. Hope you'll join me next week for another virtual idea lab where we'll have a new activity ready for you. Thanks for watching everybody. Please stay safe.